Ah, hello everyone, no respawn. So, this is me walkway avenue thing. So what this is, is I mentioned it in my last video, how I wanted to add a bit more texture and kind of have a little bit more of a walkway leading up to the castle. Now I wanted it, it's a bit more of a decorative, smaller build in a lot of ways, but I wanted to show you guys the process. The reason being is this is a really, really useful technique to kind of add detail where there's no detail and kind of really make a uh, ostensibly dull area especially like you know this lead up area here you know where i'm just kind of walking up to the castle i could have just left bare but just adding this walkway completely transforms the area it's not i mean individually it's quite creative like these stairs you see how quickly we're like i'm gonna sped up so this is like two minutes of recording three minutes i mean obviously because i sped everything up but this is a really quick way of making quite a nice looking staircase. And I do obviously sort it out and make it look cool as you'll see right now. This is obviously wouldn't... I did do this exact same technique except without the pillar when I did my last castle. But I didn't have these crates which are really cool because I can basically just put them underneath and it just kind of makes it look a little bit more supported. It's The reason why I decided to get rid of the old staircase because... Basically, the AI pathing is a little bit weird, so a lot of... I could make kind of like a quite funky, bespoke staircase that, you know, use loads of concrete and stuff like that. The problem is there's a good chance the settlers wouldn't walk up here. And quite simply, because this is the main entrance to the settlement, I didn't want to risk it. So I thought, okay, but this works because I've done this before. Um, obviously not as detailed as what I'm going to be doing it now, but it looks rather spiffy. I'm really liking this. So, because I'm, I'm saying that every fucking stupid castle video because I'm <laughs> not original. But, like, I didn't expect to... Like, a load of you suggested, basically, that I build, you know, outside the main entrance. And thank you for the suggestion because it is such a cool idea. Not only, for whatever reason, I'm not getting much of an FPS job as of yet. But just... It, it makes the settlement feel a lot more bustling already. Like, when I finish this, as I said, all this is is just a walkway leading to the entrance. So, you know, after I've done this step, the staircase is probably the most extravagant part. The rest is pretty straightforward, as you'll see. But it transforms, and this area is going to look really bustling on the way in. Um, like, the, the maybe not the next video, but there will be a video very soon if the next, the one afterwards. We're going to be doing a structure or structures near the coast. Now, I'm not going to be building around the castle. These kind of buildings will be just clustered next to the entrances. Uh, so I might, for example, do something on the back rear entrance, well, the rear front entrance, whichever will be historically accurate, but that entrance back there. Just to kind of, because there's no point doing it on the outside. I mean, I might spice up the water purifier potentially, but I'm not too sure. I'd sort these bits out because I just wanted them to kind of shadow the edges a little bit. But it looks really cool. It looks really cool. It's great. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. It's cool. So, but I was a bit conscious it might be potentially a boring, but actually, you know what? I don't think it is. <clears throat> there are times when I think sometimes I'm like, oh, this isn't very creative. But actually, this is quite creative. And also, this is really useful. This is one of those things. I remember the first time I kind of did this technique of using platforming effectively. Like, using back in the day. This is pre-mods on pre-DLC. If those of you remember my Sunshine Tidings build. And I was really kind of at a loss as to how to kind of add detail between the buildings and what I ended up doing was this walkway similar to how I've done this going around the interior side of the settlement which spoiler I might end up doing a kind of like rehashed version of when I finally go back to Sunshine Tidings on this save because I haven't done it on this save so we have to go back there and it's such a simple thing but it does completely transform the settlement but it, it, it's something that maybe wouldn't be as immediately obvious. Also, that te technique right there, I know it's a bit fast, but that's really, really useful. I'm going to throw my phone because it went off. It's fine. Uh, but that's really, really useful for doing these uh, kind of little stairs and kind of just making quite a nice little staircase. It's just you just snap them onto a board so they're completely straight, and then you can just take the board off and just pillar glitch them in. And I'm just adding these. Ed this worked really well. I was surprised. It was a toss-up between doing this and, and doing a mod video, but I wanted to do... Like, I was kind of itching to do this part. I don't 
know what I'm going to be doing <laughs> for the buildings. Probably some kind of dock area, but I don't know. Some people have mentioned I should do a dock, but I've already got a dock around the rear and where it's the crane. So what I might do is maybe the kind of like maybe a motel, hotel kind of workhouse kind of thing, as I mentioned in the last video. But I'm not too sure how it'll look, shall we say. So um, the next video might actually be a mod video. <laughs> Mainly because mod video, um, using the mods tends to give me ideas of what to do. Because I get to kind of like, it makes me break the mold a little bit. I do abuse these little... I like doing this. I like just snapping staircases on. They're a very useful way to just kind of make these boards look like they're not floating. I am so happy we have mods. There are so many, like... These little bits that have been added into USO. So those little kind of half walls. Those crates. There are so many little pieces that I wouldn't know... I wouldn't have requested because I didn't realise I wanted them, you know. There's so much stuff within Unlock 7 Objects. Um, those of you don't realise, it's probably obvious, but, but I'm playing on PS4. Sometimes people don't necessarily immediately realise this. So we haven't had mods. We didn't have mods until, what, October, late October time. So, you know, I made 200 videos. Oh, this is where I grabbed the entire set one again. Um, I made something like 200 videos before, maybe say 180 or something, until we actually got mods. So there's so much stuff I didn't have, and then Andrew CX, the genius and wonderful human being behind Unlock Seven Objects, has I've been putting loads of effort into the mod and giving us loads of stuff. And there's so much utility stuff, like these pallets, for example. Like what I'm going to do in a second right now, of using them as kind of a useful little surface. There's so much stuff that I wouldn't have personally requested because I didn't realise I wanted them. You know, those of you who remember me, you know, in the Nuka World days when I was talking about what I wanted in mods, I was about decorative stuff, so I was about more, you know, more signs, and, you know, more just chaff, but there's so much stuff in Unlock 7 Objects now that I literally cannot do without. I need it. You know, these pallets, the crates, the fucking plywood, <laughs> holy sh Name a build that hasn't got plywood in it. <laughs> I need it to function, people. <laughs> Plywood is bay, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's just it's outstanding. And you see right here, like it's it's quite a simplistic build in a lot of ways. It, you know, this was about tut recording time, 35 minutes. Chopped it down to about 23, and then I sped it up because I wanted it just over just over 10 minutes. I don't want to speed up too much. So it was under 10 minutes. And it was uber fast. But it's quite simple, but I wanted to have it its own separate video because it's a useful technique to do. Plus, it would have taken too long and I didn't want to rush through it. But as you can see, you'll see in the tour in a second, it just completely transforms. I'm doing the plywood and I'm getting better at um, placing plywood to break up textures. If you remember at the top on the castle walls, I just kind of slapped it down willy-nilly. <clears throat> but in kind of here, I'm kind of getting a bit better at... Just kind of breaking up textures a bit. This, that one there I removed because it looks a bit shit. This, by the way, what I'm doing right now is from the custom vanilla assets mod. It took me a while, but you have to enable debris. Uh, it took me a while to figure that out in the little toggle light things. But anyway, just kind of breaking up bits. I decided to show you the decoration because there's no real junk decoration. It's just kind of chaff bits I put. Also, these tires are in uh, custom vanilla assets as well, and if you notice when I place them, it's probably sped up so you didn't notice much at all. But they moved, which means I think because it happens with a few items in USO as well. Uh, the mannequins and a couple of the garden stuff. Um, they're placeable items, but they're actual stuff you can pick up. Like, I could exit the menu and kind of hold select and kind of lift those tires up, so... That's pretty neat. I didn't expect to have them that. Because that's useful, because I can just pick those tires. Tires are, you know, cool, you know, piles of tires. But look already how this has just transformed the entrance. It's so much more dynamic. And now we're to the left of where we are now, there will be buildings. So it's going to look cluttered even before you get into the castle. Um, and the castle, as I said, I just keep saying the castle's nearly finished, but you know what? There's so much we can add. A lot of people are suggesting I add... Uh, somewhere for a mayor. I don't know if I'm going to do that because we've got the captain's quarters, but like more overhanging structures hanging off the side of the walls potentially that would look quite cool, like barnacles <laughs> um, or kind of a bit more like my hive thing. Jail, I've got to do the entire decoration. This is, might be my magnum opus, people. This might be my magnum opus. 
So Tor are coming, even though it literally is this. It's just going to be everything slowed down. Just move this one final barrel in. Bar barrel in. It sounds like I'm calling someone barrel in. Anyway, so here it is. You can see it just, it's, it's not much, but it's loads, right? Like it's not an immediate, oh, I should build this. I deliberately left that little gap there because I liked the kind of slightly misshapen look of the walkway. But it, it transforms the lead up. Now imagine when we have those buildings to the left as well. It's going to look really cool, really cluttered, bustling. And then you walk through the main gate, which I'm obviously not going to have an actual gate. It's going to be kind of an archway. And it just... It, it's a technique I wanted to show you and kind of run at home. It's a really useful thing to do. Kind of detail where there maybe you wouldn't you would have just left it open and just left a kind of you know a path of grass anyway hope you guys like that and give you a few ideas you know kind of adding texture to parts that maybe didn't need texture anyway i'll have a new video up soon you guys enjoy your weekend if you're in the uk enjoy the sun i've been mixed to it it's quite nice but also i i'm pale and don't like the heat too much it's a bit weird anyway you guys have a lovely week and a lovely weekend too take care